During standard vending processes, high-value-added products are often encountered. Stun and steel brush play. With traditional V-bending, using upper and lower dies, bending marks are unavoidable. Due to compression forming, the part gets compressed against the lower die, which results in visible bending marks. These marks cannot be completely eliminated with conventional methods. So how can we effectively reduce or even eliminate these bending marks? Reduce friction between part and dies. A method most people don't know involves reducing friction between the part and the dies, called the shin bending method. See it here? Please do shins on the die. This method ensures no bending marks are left behind. Let me now demonstrate to everyone how this device works. Beautiful. After bending, it automatically springs back with no marks on the surface. Let's check the bending angle measurement. Standard 90 degrees. Press a few times. It's too loud. Are you willing? Angle stable. Most bending technicians prefer using bending film as a go-to method to eliminate marks. From the first factory to the fourth, I saw this method used in every workshop. This is a type of bending film that most bending technicians have probably used before. This isn't just about me anymore. The first time I've recommended it, I've suggested it many times. He's someone I personally know. His store prices are absolutely way better than Taobao's. I am using the 0.3 thickness version, 30 meters long. Now we're bending a 3.0 brushed metal panel. Check the film removal. After the bending process, the film remains completely undamaged. You can see the bending marks are completely gone. Whoa! For business owners who care about quality, bending film is a must-have, right? 